Hey guys, so wanted to do a video on start to finish of how to install the chipless firmware from inkchip.net. Um, I did a video the last time, but it was more of like an all-inclusive, like adding CAD link to it and so forth. So anyways, this one is just focusing on how to install the Inkchip uh, chipless firmware. So this is their website. You're going to go to inkchip.net and you're going over to soft where it's abbreviated for software, which is my assumption. I'm going to click on that. You're going to want to scroll all the way down to the XP 15,000. And this will work for any of the other um, printers that they support. So here's just a list of everything. All right, but I'm specifically converting a 15,000, so this is what I'm showing you how to do. So moving across, you'll see that there is a firmware column and an activation column. You're gonna wanna download both of these. All right, so you see that it's downloading. It's going pretty fast. The next thing you wanna also download is an extractor program, something like WinZip or WinRoar. Um, that's the only way you're gonna open up the, the firmware software. So I'm gonna do the try it for free and it's downloaded. I'm going to first install that. And just go through all the prompts, let that install. All right, it's been extracted, it's preparing to install now. All right, so it is now finished and uh, I hate all these pop-ups. Let me close out of there. So, oh my goodness. All right, anyways, as you can see, the Inkchip firmware and the activation has both been downloaded. You'll see that there is a icon here with the file compressor program what I tend to do is I will go and do a uh, click on it do a right mouse click without changing the name and then I am going to just download it here and a folder for ink chip so it's extracting it created a folder here We're going to skip this. All right, so now you'll see that the folder icon, there's the lock icon where it says that it's compressed. And then there's a folder that's pretty much open. So that's where you're going to find the, um, the chipless firmware application. So I'm going to double click, go into the folder. And this is the file that I want to initiate the process. So I'm going to double click. It's asking me to confirm. I say yes. All right. So now the inkchip.net firmware application is open and we're going to just walk through the process. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to go to agree next again. And it's just take, giving me precautions and instructions. I'm going to hit next. And you should have your printer plugged in and connected via USB and turned on. Um, at this point, 
on my screen for my printer, it just has the English and French um, language selector. So I'm gonna leave my printer alone because it's I'm not doing anything exactly to the printer. The program is gonna do it itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to start. It's asking me to confirm, say yes. So here's where um, people tend to uh, mess up when they're installing. You're gonna to wanna to wait and see at around 85%, you're gonna do Control Alt Delete. At 71%, you'll see that it looks like it's stalling, but it's still doing its thing. The other thing you wanna keep a watch for is the information down here. Right now it says waiting for a printer to restart. But at 85%, this should change to firmware version confirmed. And we are at 85% and this has been changed. So at this point, you wanna go into your task manager and end the process. So you can bring up the task manager by doing control alt delete, or you can just type in, in your search bar. Then you're gonna to wanna to select the Epson firmware updater and select end task. All right. So that's all for that. And believe it or not, that portion of it is done. So I'm gonna go back to my downloads and now I'm gonna to go to the inkchip.net activation tool. When you first open it, you'll see that it's all like in Russian. Don't freak out. And you'll probably get this pop-up. Basically what this translates to, not that I know Russian or anything, but it was just saying that it was updating and to restart the program. So I'm gonna hit okay, it's gonna go away and I'm gonna go back and reopen the activation tool. All right, so now that the activation tool, I can change it to English. You should be able to see your printer in the drop down. So I do wanna add that before you get to this point, you need to download the Epson driver for your printer. Even if you plug and play it, meaning you take it out of the box and you connect them via USB and it pops up on your screen or on your computer that there's a connection, the USB is gonna always read that there's a new, new device being attached to the printer or to the computer. So you wanna make sure that you download and install the Epson driver first. And then you're gonna to wanna to do this whole um, program rundown of installing the firmware and now putting in the activation. So once you do all that, you'll, your printer should come up. You're gonna hit activate online. There's a pop-up window that comes up. This is where you put in your activation code. Um, Inkchip.net sells their activation code for $55. I have them on my website at customdesignpress.com uh, for $50, so it does save you five bucks. Anyways, I've already copied my code. I'm gonna paste it in here and hit okay. And there you go. The activation code written successful. The printer is restarting. Please wait for the printer to restart. I'm just gonna hit okay. I've heard all the noise that it's restarting. Now, one of the key things I wanna point out is that you want to copy and paste this whole entire string. Okay, highlight it and then um, right mouse click and do a copy. So what I normally do is go into my sticky notes and I will put in this whole string just by pasting it in there. So this is your recovery code, ink chip recovery code. All right, that's there. So basically what the recovery code does is each firmware gets applied to that specific printer. Okay, you'll see that there's a serial number attached to it. And so the code that I entered before ties to this printer serial number. So should I need to replace this printer down the road for whatever reason, 
the ink chip um, chipless firmware doesn't will not work on the new printer okay um, however if you by mistake go and update your Epson driver which you should disable um, once you get to this point you should disable that but if for whatever reason your computer laptop um, updates the driver for your printer it's going to wipe out the chipless firmware and you'll have to just go back in um, you can copy this back put it into your code into the activation code window down at the bottom well it's there <laughs> and then you hit activate and it should allow you to reactivate that um, specific code that you entered before so that's pretty much it um, in terms of installing chipless firmware again if you need the xp 15000 codes um, i have them on my website customdesignpress.com and save yourself five bucks uh, let me know if you guys have any questions bye